Hello everyone, this video is going to be another free PBX video, obviously, but today we're actually going to be exploring the SCCP connectivity module, as you can see up here, that I have installed onto my system to help provision and manage a set of Cisco 7900 series IP phones actually using the SCCP protocol. You saw the video uh, before this one, which is all about that. Um, this is again not an installation video, but it's kind of a little setup tutorial. Uh, there, are, there is a wiki page online that is very, very useful for setting up uh, Chan SCCPB and the whole manager system. Uh, I will put that link down in the description, but this video just is going over what we have in the system. So, uh, as you can see, we're going to go to admin for a second. We're going to go uh, check out the modules. And you'll see that's actually considered a, it's a it's a full module under SCCP connectivity. You will notice though it is considered an unsigned module. You don't need to worry though this module is completely safe. It won't install any weird viruses onto your system or anything of the like. You will get a very large banner up here at uh, up top at first when you install. It'll say you have an unsigned module. You can close out that uh, message because that's just referring to SCCP manager. Inside the um, module here, you'll see well, you'll see it's actually very very helpful. Um, you can see all the SCCP extensions that you've created. You can also very easily add an extension right here. And then if you go to SCCP phone, you can actually see all the devices that you have set up and their descriptions and what kind of line keys they have and the type of phone and the status and the IP address. So this is basically an endpoint manager for SCCP phones. And it's completely free, which is very nice. Um, as um, So you can add a device based on the MAC address, which is what all these phones are based off of. Um, and then, of course, if you click on the pencil, you can edit the MAC address. You can edit the uh, device label. The device label is that little message at the top of the phone that says usually like a name or an extension number. You can edit what uh, set of soft keys you want it to have, the time zone offset and many other settings in here. And then you can also just click save and continue and it'll save for you. And then you will notice though, once you make a change to something, it will take the phone offline and reboot it. That's just the way how just the way it is, unfortunately. If we go into server config, you can actually tweak a lot more. You can change the server name. I didn't really change anything in this section or really anything on this page at all. Uh, I did start changing things when I got to device. Uh, so you can change anything and any and everything related to Cisco phones. Uh, as you can see, you can uh, change things like the BLF keys if you want them to be active when you're in the directory. You can change what uh, music, the class of music on hold you want to use. Uh, you can enable and disable the global soft keys, and you can set like uh, directory URLs and all that. Uh, you can obviously set the time. You can set the format. Uh, this was this was helpful because I had an issue at first when I installed this, and for some reason I could not make any changes to the um, to the config file here. And I realized that the reason that was the reason that was uh, an issue was because I hadn't reset the permissions. So I had just installed SCCP module, and I realized that it wasn't allowing me to make changes because it didn't think I was supposed to be an admin or allowed to. So I ran the command in uh, the asterisk client uh, FW console chown at CHOWN, and that kind of resets all permissions. And then after I did that and I logged back in, I was 100% able to make changes. Um, but as you can see here, it's very helpful to have all this because when I got it and installed it, it had it in 24 hour time and it was in a uh, Europeans. It was the, it was like European style with the date. So it was like a, uh, it was day, month, year, and I'm American, so it's month, day, month, day, year here and all that. So it was nice to be able to change that. You can change codecs, which you don't really need to worry about, and you don't really need to worry about advanced settings or SCCP info. Uh, then we go to system parameters. This is basically just the kinds of phones that you want uh, to be able to connect and provision. So the only type of phone I have right now hooked up to the system is a 7962. So I went ahead and disabled the rest of the uh, model numbers, but you can, uh, we'll, we'll show all of them. You can see there's a whole, there's 13 pages of this. So we have 
3900 series, 6900 series, 7800, 7900, uh, all these different phones that we have. And you can make, make almost any kind of Cisco phone connect and work. It's very nice. This, this part is very nice. And they can go to SCCP key sets, which is the soft key programming. So I made a default, I mean, there's the default one right here, which kind of has everything. And some of it doesn't, some of it you don't need. So I made my own called soft key set, and you can just modify exactly what you want the phones to have as soft keys under all these different conditions. So when the phone is on the hook, that means like there's no calls, like the phone's just idle. So we really don't need all these different options. We really only need these four. And the same goes for the rest of these as well. But then once again, if we go to Phones Manager and hit SCCP Phone, you'll see the phone came back online and it pulls the, pulls the IP address and everything. Uh, and it works very, very well. And if we go into Applications and Extensions, you'll also notice that it comes up in, in uh, the Extension Manager as an SCCP extension. And you can also add an SCCP extension here in addition to from the Phones Manager menu. So that's really it for this video, just uh, going over of basically what you can do with SCCP Manager. Again, I'm going to link down below the uh, URL to the wiki page. It's very helpful for installing this. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, please make sure to subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like me to do uh, with free PBX or the Cisco phones, please let me know. And I will do my best to get around to them. Thank you very much. And hope you all are staying safe.